to this according to this order so far notice has been issued to you as to why contempt proceedings may not be initiated so this is the first step which has been taken to this to this so the first step which has been taken under section 15 one of contempt of court act that it has been very well explained by the full honorable full bench of honorable supreme court uh, and you uh, will see supreme court later on first we we'll see the rules high court rules which provides for filing contempt appeal under which order you can file a contempt appeal that that, that is the question so this is the right what is what i am saying ma'am we are not been punished as yet no the, the first step has been already been taken but now this is creating lot of uh, humiliation for me in the lower courts the other side is showing this is show us how this contempt appeal is meant and we let me to image Yes, it will be done in the section 20. I think we are verbal. Yeah, that is what I am trying to show from the judgments, show from the high court rules. It is this kind of order can be assumed in a contempt of court. Can't we come? We will not argue unless there is answer, specific answers we want. So we have to proceed in the court because the first step has been high court. So it shows that another can take so motor initiate so motor proceedings under section 15.1, hmm. and that they have already done. And under section 17.1, they have they have issued notice, and they have also issued with notice with that the motion motion proceedings also my lord. That is under section 17.2. Now that the third thing is that the limitation starts under section 20 of one year. Uh, yeah. You are not on the point. He is coming. The point is coming to the point. And it has been well dashed when he held. Who uh, held that this certain topic is meant to be done? We will call them. So, uh, kindly come to my IA number four seven eight nine. Four four five seven eight four five seven eight nine. My Lord, may I go through it, My Lord? Uh, this has been very well explained that uh, in this judgment, section fifteen one, fifteen seventeen one, seventeen two, and twenty, honourable full bench, My Lord. Contempt of court act section nineteen पढ़ी है पहले, जिसके तहत आपने application लगाई है, वो क्या बोलता है उसको देखता है। It is not right. अरे but read, read, read. We will not waste time like this. मानी जाए वन बाय वन आंसर करें वील कम तू दी कंक्लूजन वेदर इट इज मेंटेनेबल और नॉट आप क्या कर रहे हैं मेरी पे बहस कर रहे हैं हमने सुनेगा ये ये क्वेश्चन हैज बीन डिसाइडेड प्लीज रीड सेक्शन 19 नहीं ये किताब आपके पास आई नॉट डॉट बिकॉज़ मैं ऐसी खाली आप क्यों चले आते हैं आई कम आई कम ऑन दिस ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द अपील शैल लाई एज अ राइट अगेंस्ट एनी ऑर्डर और डिसीजन ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट इन एक्सरसाइज ऑफ ज्यूरिस्डिक्शन टू पनिश फॉर कंटेंट वेयर द ऑर्डर और डिसीजन इज दैट ऑफ अ सिंगल जज Appeal is maintainable only against an order of, of decision of the High Court passed in exercise of its jurisdiction to punish for contempt. Yes, ma'am. You are not being punished as yet. No, ma'am. I will. I will. I will. I will be noticed. So I can come. Please, it's not punishment. So, can can I can I be given one minute? I just want to bring before my lordship. Yes. Can you come to my uh, I am my lord? Page number nine. I am reading out the paragraph, very well uh, in which uh, it has been very well explained. Supreme Court का और भी judgement है उसमें ये लिखा है कि it is not each and every order passed during the contempt proceedings that is appealable. Supreme Court बोलता है each and every order is not appealable. Only that order where some punishment is has been awarded to you is appealable. No, not necessarily, my lord. That the punishment has to be accorded. Then even on the basis of 
contempt okay you are showing supreme court judgment i am also showing i am let, let, let me go through it my lord theek hai bataiye it was in pursuance of the recommendation made by the seminal committee that the parliament while enacting the contempt of court act 1971 it did section 19 sub section 1 in that i confirm the appeal as a right any order of decision of a high court the exercise of the jurisdiction to punish for contempt before we examine the language of section 19 Section one. In order to arrive at its true interpretation, we may first look at section fifteen, seventeen, and twenty. Such section one of section fifteen provides that in a case of criminal contempt, other than contempt in the face of the court, the Supreme Court or the High Court may take action on its own motion or on a motion made by the Advocate General or any other person with the consent in writing of the Advocate General. And section two of that section says that in case of Uh, a criminal contempt of a subordinate court, the High Court may take action on a reference made to it by the subordinate court or on a motion made by the Advocate General or in the relation to union territories by such law officer as the central government may specify in this behalf. Section 17 lays down the procedure to be followed by the court when it decides to take action and initiates a proceeding for contempt under Section 15. Subsection one of which section provides that. Notice of every proceeding under Section 15 shall be served personally on the person charged and according to the subsection 2, such notice, such notice shall be attended or concluded in the case of proceeding commenced. The motion, the copy of the motion is also has also copies of the affidavits if any any such motion is found. In case of a proceeding commenced on the reference by a subordinate court, the copy of the reference. <coughs> Section 20 prescribes a period of limitation by saying that no court shall initiate any proceeding for contempt either on its own motion, otherwise after the expiry of a period of one year from the date on which the contempt is alleged to have been committed. We can see from these provisions that the screen adopted by the legislature is that the court may initiate a proceeding for contempt through a motion or any motion made by the advocate general, any other person with a consent in writing to the advocate general or on a reference made by a subordinate court. Where the court initiates a proceeding for contempt, sue a motto. It assumes a jurisdiction to punish for contempt and takes the first step in exercise of it. But what happens when a motion is made by the advocate general or any other person with the consent of the writing of the advocate general or a reference is made by the subordinate court? Does the court enter upon a jurisdiction to punish for contempt and act on the basis of it when it considers such motion or reference for the purpose of deciding whether it should issue the proceeding for contempt? We do not think so. Motion or reference only for the purpose of drawing the attention of the court to the contempt alleged to have been committed, and it is for the court on a court on a consideration of such motion or reference to decide in exercise of its discretion whether or not to initiate a proceeding for contempt. Court may decline to take cognizance and to initiate a proceeding for contempt either because, in its opinion, no contempt prior to this appears to have been committed. Because even if there is a prima facie contempt, it is not a fit case in which action should be taken against the alleged contemptor. Exercise the contempt jurisdiction, my lord. This is a matter entirely between the court and the alleged contemptor. The court, to be moved by a motion or a phrase, may in its discretion decline to exercise the jurisdiction for contempt. It is only when the court decides to take action, initiates a proceeding for contempt, it assumes a jurisdiction to punish contempt. The exercise of the jurisdiction to punish for contempt commences. That it has commenced with the initiation of proceeding for contempt. So now the open motion of a reference. That is why the terminus of the court. Can you please tell us why this notice was issued to you, sir? That notice. Please, please, please answer that. Why notice was issued to you? What wrong you have committed? What contempt of court you have done? That that we must also know because the from other it is not reflected. I mm know. -hmm. Let me come. Let me please tell us. Other one. Let me come to the other side also. Ask them what is the reason for issuance of such a counter notice to you. I know. Before I go there, let me first complete my whatever. I have done. I have understood. Your application is maintainable. Your appeal is maintainable. Now, now we come to the merits out of any order. Now we come to the merits now. Yeah. Initiation of content proceedings. Yeah. Initiation content is already initiated against you. Yes, ma'am. Tell us what is the reason for passing such an order? We have not reflected from your application at all. No, my lord, this this application is is, is submitted on 
because the that means the whole answer problem is you don't answer any if relief is not granted by the courts in your favor then you say that uh, this uh, case may not be heard by this court this is the reason what i understand from this order may 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 can uh, can i come to uh, can please answer what is the reason for issuance of such a content because my lord i am i said will we will never issue like this my lord there must be some reason behind that yes my lord i i submit in an application mm. that i don't want to contest my case my case or before such and such judge why it is not your choice you cannot choose a judge it is my choice it my will be held as per the nature it is my choice as contemplated by the honorable supreme court for poster kaam hai 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 judicial bias very very judicial bias without there being any order your case has not been entertained final has not been made not a second let let me come to that too we should we cannot hear the entire day we we want to be on point yes please tell us what is the reason matlab i have submitted an application that i don't want to contest my case reason what is the reason for that i am going to get justice from that court ma'am say so i am not justice from that court ma'am Number fifty-six. Petitioner uh, in the present concern with I have been filed that the petitioner, petitioner officer of the court, is directed to refer the matter before the Honorable Chief Justice to admit his side for an appropriate order therein. Number fifty-seven. Present in person, issue notice to the respondent, payment of process, receipt of payment, and receipt regarding the receipt judge in the past time under section twenty-four of the PC and the distance and the instance of the present. Begin for the uh, court of such and such. List immediately after four weeks, my lord. Page number fifty-eight. On account of transfer, of, uh, this this was uh, this was uh, it became infectious, my lord. Page number fifty-nine. Between so and so, then we consult for the petitioner. So the respondent, present person, respondent has filed an application on this case. Be not received before this. So this is direct to place this application before. Right, my lord. <coughs> My matters were transferred to Honorable Principal Bench. I I I submitted the same application, judicial bias, to the Honorable Supreme Court. If I apprehend, so I with that my apprehension is of judicial bias, then I should. So then I believe me, me. That's why I have changed your bench. Sir, yeah. That's not me. That's not me. No, no. मतलब मेरे को अगर मन में ऐसी अनुभूति होती है मेरे को यहां से इस बैंक से मेरे को अगर न्याय नहीं प्राप्त होगा क्योंकि वो प्राप्त होने का मतलब क्या है इसे मान लो वो भी तो न्याय प्राप्त होगा कैसे कर रही है वो साइड पे देखना है एक्स पर कैसे कर रही है जो भी तो मान लेते हैं कंटिन्यू तो एप्लीकेशन है लोग मैं ग्राम थोड़े का मतलब पिटिशन वाला बोल रहा हूं मैं लेटेस्ट कंटिन्यू तो एप्लीकेशन है यस व्हिच पेज नंबर 56 ऑफ द पेटिशन मैलो मेरे को तो लगता है आपने सभी जज के खिलाफ एलिगेशन लगाया है यहां पे नहीं मैं कुछ भी नहीं आपने यहां पे मैलो 2012 में 2012 के खिलाफ आपने एप्लीकेशन नहीं मैंने बताया 2012 इन द एडिट ऑफ फाइलिंग सच एप्लीकेशंस जो आया है समझ में आता है एक बार एक जज ये दो जज हो पर यहां तो सभी जज के खिलाफ आप एप्लीकेशन कर सकते हो जो तो भी ऐसा कुछ नहीं सकता हूं मैं मेरे मैंने आने ही नहीं मैंने किसी को भी प्रॉब्लम नहीं है आपके पास प्रॉब्लम होगी जी मेरे को अगर मैं ये आप किसी आपके डिसमिस हो रहे हैं मेरी इसमें ही ताल्लुक है इसके ये अब आप अपनी आप ये ये आप इससे सोपुसेंट में आप बताना चाह रहा हूँ मालूम पेज नंबर 26 में आएगा हम्म अब दिस इज़ द इंडेक्स मालूम आई द सीरी नंबर टू अब दिस इज़ द आर्डर ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश प्रिंसिपल बेंच इन � पुराने केस है इसमें बताइए 
जितने भी Give the list. We'll transfer it to Jawalpur. Let the division, uh, for principal seat here, your case. Why not? I have come before my lordship. Because if you have any case or problem, I have come before my lordship against complaint. What is my opinion? What is your opinion? What is your case? Like, we trust the matter, right? Yes. 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 उनको बुला के आप सिविल कोर्ट से रेफरेंस लीजिए वो उन्होंने दस साल में नहीं किया क्या मैं उसके लिए कुछ भी नहीं करूं और जब माननीय प्रिंसिपल बैंक ने जब आदेश कर दिया है आप जाइए और प्रिंसिपल सिविल कोर्ट के सामने आप सब अपना वहां पे अपना पक्ष रखिए और उसके बाद में जब यहां पे गया तो मेरे को इसलिए और सहता दिया गया कि भाई आपका लोटस नहीं कहां से प्रिंसिपल सिविल कोर्ट में मैंने वो प्रिंसिपल सिविल प्रिंसिपल बेंच की आदेश नहीं मान रहे सुप्रीम कोर्ट का भी आदेश नहीं मान रहे हाईकोर्ट ने क्या आदेश पास किया ये पेज नंबर आप सिक्स में देख लीजिए मैम टाइप कॉपी पेज नंबर सॉरी मान लो ट्वेंटी सिक्स पेज नंबर थर्टी टू मान लो उसका टाइप कॉपी पेज नंबर थर्टी एट मान लो आरटीज ऑन द रेस्पॉन्ड नंबर टू है एग्रीड दैट ऑल इश्यूज बी रेज बिफोर सिविल कोर्ट एग्रीड पर्सन इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ अपॉइंटमेंट मैनेजमेंट एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एक्सेट्रा ऑफ द ट्रस्ट In accordance with the provisions of MP Trust Act, without being influenced by any of the findings of the registrar, the public trust, or the learned single bench, in accordance with law, disposed of. After that, what happened? You have approached the civil court. Yes, ma'am. What happened? They have dismissed it. You have not taken it. Okay. Then, then I have taken it. 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 उसमें भी मैंने कंसिडर नहीं किया सिविल प्रोसीजर परमिट्स टू डायरेक्शन फॉर मेकिंग चैरिटेबल और रिलीजियस इंस्टीट्यूशन डायरेक्ट If any devotee moves the jurisdiction district judge throughout the India, but any devotee depends on the other aspect, district judge may either himself or herself or by assigning the issue matter to any other court, the case of jurisdiction examine or expert may necessarily sign a report to the High Court. We have no doubt that High Court may consider these experts in public interest and according with law and issue a judicial direction that report become necessary in regard to individual fact situation. So, what is it? Is it a challenge or not? ट्रायल कोर्ट के सामने क्या प्रेयर थी रेफरेंस करने की हाँ हम आए थे आप इसको क्योंकि इसको आप इस पैमान में रेफरेंस हो सकता है कौन कर सकता है आप नहीं कर सकते इसी में सिविल अपील ऑफ दैट ना 
first first of all that you have done i am going to file uh, you are going to file i am going to file application under order 7 rule 13 ma'am mm -hmm. to rear yeah. so therefore it is not matter of the court this court rightly the lawyer singer has dismissed yes sir yes sir yes sir given this verdict at page number 37 ma'am i am going to go to the district court sir please 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 please